Hey everyone, welcome back to Pajama Crafts where I do crafts in my pajamas. Today I have two really cute DIYs for you, but first I wanted to tell you a little bit about Teamy. They are sponsoring this video today. I was really excited when they reached out to me. Teamy is um, a T. <laughs> kind of in the title that actually helps with a lot of health issues that are really common these days including improving gut health increasing sleep boosting your body's natural energy levels reducing bloating helping to eliminate acne and clogged pores i have a lot of these issues um so i was really excited when they reached out to me and all the ingredients are 100 percent natural which is super important to me i like to do everything as natural as possible and they're also pesticide and cruelty free which is amazing so they sent me a tea they actually have tons to choose from um, depending on your needs and any issues that you're having. I decided to go with the skinny tea. I am looking to lose a little bit of weight. Um, I have been losing about a pound a week for a while now, trying to do it the natural, healthy way, just by eating better. And then Zach actually proposed to me last weekend. So I was really excited. This kind of came at perfect timing because I am able to try this tea um, you know, and kind of help that to, to boost hopefully my weight loss journey. Um, so this one does help, um, boost your body's natural energy levels, which I have seen it do. And then also helping to increase sleep. I have noticed that as well. And then, like I said, my energy levels have been a lot better. I have a lot of issues with low energy. And then, um, I do have, um, a lot of issues with acne so I'm really excited that this helps with that as well. I've only been using it for seven days so far um, but I have seen a difference with the bloating too so I have seen results already just within the first seven days so I'm really excited to finish out this 30-day cleanse um, and I will leave the links in the description and a discount code for you guys as well if you want to go check them out. I'm not usually a big tea drinker, but this is actually delicious and I didn't have to add any honey or any sweetener or anything. Where are you anything. going? Where are you going? Are you going to stand up? What you doing, baby girl? Are you crafting with mommy? What you got there? <laughs> Are you crafting? Good job. Good job. So for this first project, I started out using this varathene wood stain in the color Weathered Oak. Um, and I have this wood from Home Depot. I got on the 75% off pile. You might notice it's a little bit warped. I don't mind. I think it adds to the rustic country look of the sign that I'm going for. So um, that's one tip that I always like to give. If you like to use real wood, go to Home Depot. If you don't see the discounted pile, ask, and they'll often have some in the back. Um, and they're just imperfect pieces of wood I leave there with tons of wood for like $7. <laughs> this is all one piece. I had a third piece. Um, and they will cut it down for you and everything. And it was just, you know, a dollar or two. I don't remember. But that color was not doing it for me. I think this wood was a little bit treated. And so it was not absorbing the stain as well as I would have liked. So I actually took some old antiquing wax that I had from Hobby Lobby. I've had it for years. It's almost gone. I feel like I got this before I even knew that Waverly Wax existed. I mean, it might have been before it existed. But anyway, this is just like a brown color. And I just put this all over the wood with just a paper towel um, until I had the color that I liked. And this made it perfect for me. It was the perfect weathered wood look that I was going for. 
So I got these letters that spell out thankful at the Target dollar spot for $3. They're thin wood, which I really liked. And I'm just using some black matte apple barrel paint um, to paint these. If I had thought about it before I started painting, I would have used my outdoor Arteza paint since this is going to go outside, but that's okay. <laughs> It'll still be fine with the apple barrel, um, but I just painted all of the letters black. It was pretty simple. This was a really, really simple project. After my boards outside were dry, I flipped them over and to attach them at the back, I'm just using a small piece of trim that my dad brought me from his work but you could easily use a paint stir stick and I just used some wood glue to attach that. Um, you can definitely do just the wood glue. That's how I always do it, did it in the past and I just let it dry overnight. Um, but I absolutely love this stapler that Zach got me from Walmart. I believe it was around $10. I don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure. But everyone always asks me what it is. So I just thought I would show it here on the camera for you guys. You can go back and look if you need to. It can do staples and small nails. So I'm just using some small nails to attach this to the back so that I can move it right away and not have to wait for that wood glue to dry, but that wood glue will still give it that extra hold. Um, now this did not, I don't know if I wasn't doing it right or what, but the little nails were not going all the way through, so I did bring my hammer out and knock those down in there a little bit farther, but it held together perfectly. And once my letters were dry, I just brought them out, laid them out how I wanted them to look. And then I went ahead and glued them down with the wood glue as well. Do you see me in my pajamas, like I say? <laughs> um, but yeah, I just went ahead and glued those down. Once everything was starting to dry, um, I took some twine. I wanted to just wrap around a little bit at the top. And just so you guys can see what I'm doing, I didn't want to move, um, flip the sign all the way over yet because it wasn't completely dry. But I don't, I had the glue gun there just in case I was thinking about adding some flowers to the top, just like some fall flowers, but I just really didn't have anything that I liked the way it looked. I decided to leave it plain um, and really neutral, but I just tie a knot and then put that at the back of the sign and then I just wrap all the way around as many times as I feel like looks good. And then I just go ahead and tie it back to the other side to the string that's left over there on the back. I don't see any need to use glue if I don't need to. This way I can always remove the twine later if I want to and I just feel like it's a waste of glue. I don't really need it. So this is what I do on most of my signs. I don't really glue the twine down if I don't need to. I just tie it in the back. It works just as well. And this is how it turned out. I think it turned out so pretty. I love how neutral it is. It looks really good with all the orange pumpkins around it and everything. It's beautiful. So for our next little sign here, I started out with a Dollar Tree sign. I just flipped that over. This one didn't even have a sticker on the back. I was like, yes, thank you. I wish they could do that every single time. But I just went ahead and cut the string off. If you guys want to fill in the holes with some, um, what is that stuff called? You can either use hot glue and just smooth it out or that wood filler. I really don't care about the holes. I think it makes, makes it look extra rustic. It's no big deal to me. So I just leave them there, but you're welcome to do that, obviously, <laughs> if you want to. And then I'm just using my pumpkin paint in Waverly. I think this is beautiful. The camera does not do it justice. It looks a little lighter on camera than it actually is, um, but it's still a nice kind of muted, like soft tone. I don't know. I just think it is gorgeous. So after that was dry, I took one of my Arteza paint markers. I will leave the link down below if you want to check those out. I really love them. Um, they're super good quality, but I'm just using an old... Um, paint stir stick that I have to make my lines. I like using something longer if I can rather than a ruler and having to move it along just so I can make my lines perfectly straight. And I like to start out in the middle so that all of my planks kind of go the same towards the end or you know the same extra left over at the end if that makes sense. 
anyway, yeah, so I just made a bunch of straight lines. I did take this outside after I was after it was dry and I just sanded it down. I don't show that on camera because I feel like everyone knows how to sand something and I don't need that mess in my house. And I don't really want to move my camera outside just so you can watch me getting dust all over myself. But yeah, I did go ahead and take this outside and give it a nice sanding so it look extra distressed and the lines would look a little more realistic like some skinny shiplap or as Joanna Gaines calls it, skinny lap. <laughs> I think it's so cute. Now I wanted to make this sign look like a pumpkin, like just like a square pumpkin, so I'm making a stem for it. I'm using some black poster board that I got from Walmart for like 97 cents, but they do have it at Dollar Tree for a dollar, but Walmart is a few cents cheaper if you can find it there. And I just drew a stem. I'm no artist, but I figured I could handle this. Um, so I just went ahead and cut that out, and then I actually have some like a bunch actually of the Arteza felt left over that they have sent me. This is adhesive on the back so I just went ahead and cut that out so that I could make my um, stem brown. So you can see here this stuff is really really sticky. Um, it like I'm not kidding you guys it's hard to get off my hand once I actually pull it off of there but I really like that because I don't have to worry about any other adhesive it's so sticky I'll leave the felt in the description below as well or just the link to their site anyway um but I just went ahead and put that on top of my stem and then I wanted to cut around it but I didn't want all that sticky stuff on my scissors so I went ahead and put the paper back on and then I just kind of made a crease and felt where the stem was. You can see I bend it like that so I could see where to cut and that was the easiest way for me so that my stickers were not getting or my scissors were not getting all sticky and hard to clean off later. So once my stem was made, I wanted to take some of those little metal wares that I found at Dollar Tree um, and make it look a little more distressed, older, vintage, um, what do you call it, just rustic. So I actually wanted to make it look rusty and I found this tip on Julia's channel from The Mug Life. She's a new YouTuber and if you guys have not uh, watched her channel yet, you have to. I will leave her in the link below. She does some really awesome DIYs and I am learning things on there. So I saw this tip on her channel. I wanted to try it myself. So I'm just using some ground cinnamon, just some regular old cinnamon and some Mod Podge. I don't remember what she used as her adhesive if she just used paint on, and then put it on or what but I wanted it to be still the silver with just some rust so I just covered it in Mod Podge first and then um, I'm just completely covering it in that uh, cinnamon and then what I did is just picked it up kind of knocked off the excess and there it was it looked gorgeous I absolutely love this technique so thank you so much Julia like I said, be sure to check out her channel. She's amazing. But that's all I did for this word. It was so, so easy. Look at that. I think it's so beautiful and looks so realistic. That's the most realistic thing I have ever seen for Russ so far. So I just went ahead and turned my sign over and got my stem lined up exactly where I wanted it. I'm taking a jumbo popsicle stick from or craft stick, whatever it's called, from Walmart and just using some hot glue to attach that stem on the back of there. Next, I am taking some leaves that I got from Michael's in my Michael's grab bags. I will link that video down below if you want to see what I got in those. Um, but I got these beautiful bouquets. I'm not going to be able to use all of them just around my house because I got several. So I have been cutting some leaves and things off of one bouquet, um, but it has a lot on it still. But I just wanted to use some leaves and then I have this flower from Dollar Tree. This is like the only one that I could find that looked good on here. I think it would be so cute if you used those daisies with like the burlap but 
I looked for those and apparently I only got like reddish ones and that just didn't go well on here or at least for me it wasn't the look I was going for so I used this one I have no idea what it was um just a random flower I had from Dollar Tree just cut off the back so it lay more flat and then I'm just hot gluing everything down with my leaves I think this came out so cute um I was debating whether I should have put more leaves or not. You guys let me know what you think, but I kind of like how it turned out. And I guess that's what matters, like you guys always say, because if you're the one who has to live with it, make sure you like it. Don't listen to what other people say. Just do it the way you like it, because you're the one who has to look at it. So I just hot glued everything down, including my harvest sign, um, or, yeah, what are these called? Just the words. The harvest metal word. I hot glued it down. Be careful. I know you've probably heard this a million times, but the metal does get hot, so I just pushed it down with my scissors first and then made sure everything was attached. I'm kind of slow because I was, like, scared I was going to burn my fingers right there. Um, and so part of my hot glue actually dried before I even put it onto the sign, so I had to add extra, like, underneath some of the letters but it turned out fine I think this is a really cute sign like I said the camera is not doing the color justice but I think you can see a little bit better in the final picture of what it looks like in that beautiful beautiful orange color um, I just set it up with some of my pumpkins that I found in the Target dollar spot that got me this little wheelbarrow um, probably a few years ago now from Target I think it is so cute sitting there by that sign. You guys let me know which one you liked best. Don't forget to go check out the link in the below for the teamy. And here are some little bloopers from when I was trying to start Hi. the video, but Bree just would not let me. What are you doing? <laughs> I have already been losing about a pound a week. Um, yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, so I have been working on that already, just losing the baby weight. Yeah. 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 But Zach actually proposed to me. Um, yeah. But Zach and I actually got engaged two days ago. Hey. Relax. Zach and I actually got engaged two days ago. Brie bug, that's too loud. Zach and I actually got engaged two days ago. Okay.